The music, the lyrics, the sounds we create that rhythm, that beats in our hearts. Mixed and then mastered, perfectly framed together to be pieced apart. Did you hear it? I'm sorry, my opinion of that song wasn't as high as yours. I'm sorry I didn't call you last week, but you didn't call me either. I'm sorry I worked so hard. I'm just trying to build us a better life. Hold up. What? I'm not sorry for making progress just because it didn't include you and your agenda. Shoo. What up, what up, y'all? Welcome to Peace Apart. It is your host, Miss Ruby, and today I'm breaking down the lyrics within T.I.'s new song, Sorry, featuring Andre 3000. This song will be included on T.I.'s forthcoming album, Trouble Man, which has been rescheduled to release December 18, 2012. In my opinion, Sorry is everything but sorry, if you get my drift. And contrary to the title, it is densely unapologetic. Let's get into these lyrics. My cup runneth over with Pinot Grigio, hold up. You bogus in that lab if you ain't lifting the dough up. You bogus popping pills if you ain't picking the hoe up. You bogus running out on your kids, my nigga, grow up. I love T.I. for these first four lines, and I don't think a lot of people caught everything he means, so here I go. My cup runneth over is a phrase from the Bible that describes someone having more than they bargained for, endowed with blessings. Pinot Grigio is a crisp white wine. Yeah. <laughs> a wine is something we drink for celebration, so T.I. is expressing how well he's doing and how well he's enjoying it. He goes on to address the people who work hard and go for something and don't enjoy the fruits of their labor. Like, why have a Lamborghini if you're not going to floss? Why pop pills if you're not going to smash? Why have kids if you don't plan on taking care of them? I think that's why he said, hold up, because before he could continue enjoying his abundance, he had to pause and address the idiocracy of not doing so. Moving on. For God's sake, like a wedding cut in large cake. For large steaks that the hammer bang broad day. Ay, never mind what the blogs say. Uh, this is what my mind and my heart say. Cutting cake is an urban metaphor for cooking crack, a drug. Hammer is an urban term for gun. T.I. used to be, and some speculate, probably still is, highly involved in drug dealing and violence. So baking cake and letting his hammer bang are real past experiences for him. And regardless about what people say in blogs, he still agrees with the hustle. He's also one of the few rappers who admits he used to do it. He understands why people do it, but he does not suggest you do it forever. Which is proven by the lines coming up. My philosophy profit off of my properties. Get it, flip it, we gotta be rich. That bro shit is obsolete. In real estate, flipping a property means to buy a home, let it appreciate in value for a couple years, and then sell it for more than you purchased it for. Profit. Possibly off of my rocker, watch how you watching me. Sophisticated, psychotic, fly as a pilot, officially silent. All you wish you could get, I got it. Unlimited titanium, nigga, what's in your wallet? Out of gladiator college, I made it summa cum laude. Why you clowns couldn't have got a cap and gown if you bought it? Possibly off my rocker is like saying, I might be crazy. At first listen, I thought unlimited titanium meant unlimited guns, uh, because he does talk about guns sometimes. But in this case, titanium is referring to that black card celebrities talk about, that popular, prestigious card full of money that people like you and me probably can't get. No, actually, we can't. Which is why he says, what's in your wallet? Because it's low-key a diss. Capital One slogan is, what's in your wallet? Capital One is also the credit card company that sends regular folk like us offers. So he's like, I got money, you don't. End of story. As for the gladiator lion, T.I. just wants to say he's a fighter, a beast, an animal, and the toughest one at that. If you were one of those smart people in school, then maybe you know what summa cum laude means, but I didn't know what it meant before this, and I guess it's the Latin term for with high praise, and in American culture we use it to refer to people who graduated with honors. I party with the Saudis buying crude oil and diamonds. Hustle January, July, fly to divide. A broke nigga telling me about how I'm dividing my pies like a blind nigga telling me it's a night for a night. In this line, I know it sounds like he said party, but he said I parley with the Saudis. He probably parties with them too, though. Anyway, <laughs> parley is really pronounced parlay, and basically he makes deals with Saudi Arabians for oil and diamonds. So now he's got a new hustle. He's flipping properties. He's investing in oil and diamonds. You know, it's still a hustle, but it's legal. So he hustles at the beginning of the year all the way up until summer. Now he's got enough money to fly to Dubai and vacay. Dividing his pie means managing his money, and a cat with no ends can't tell a rich dude how to spend, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bullheaded and stubborn, I'll be that way till I die But find a nigga with more hustle than me, I dare you to try And according to my hand on my Audemars, it's my time to shine, so all of y'all Everything in that verse was pretty easy to understand But in case you missed my last video, an Audemars is a luxury watch Usually consumed by the rich and famous As you can see by the lines in this chorus, the message in this song is I'm sorry, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry I worked so hard. I'm just... Second verse, he cusses a little too much, and I try to bleep that out, but it's almost impossible. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you the lines right here next to me as I break them down, all right? I think this passage is setting the whole verse up to detail his hardships in order to justify him not being sorry for making it out of his situation. Now he's describing what most people in the ghetto do, purchase a bunch of expensive possessions in order to temporarily tranquilize their pain, then justify it with the fact that they'll make more. And most times they do if they're selling drugs. I like the just enough to blow up line because it can be taken for two meanings. In one instance, it can mean I sold enough dope to make enough money to reinvest in myself and my career. Now I don't have to anymore. In another instance, it can mean to literally blow up the spot you're cooking it in. That's what I get out of it. So this is like saying don't stay put too long doing the same operation because eventually somebody's gonna rat you out. And in T.I.'s case, even if he gets caught, He's never snitching. And he endorses that claim by saying, check his background, check his family history. It doesn't run in his blood. Why people envy other people's success enough to go and stop them, I do not understand. If you want something, if you think you should have what somebody else has, go and get it. I guess it's something T.I. is ready for though. And no, he's not sorry. Whew, I get kind of worked up over these lyrics. Anyway, if you want to see the other half of my lyrical breakdown for this song, Sorry, which is Andre 3000's verse, tune in tomorrow, same channel, and join in on the discussion. Click here to see my last lyrical breakdown of Big Chris Red Eye, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to Peace to Pet.